Welcome to back here in Macclesfield to this uh, great club, actually, isn't it? And Andy, the guy who owns it, do you guys know Andy? He's a pretty cool guy, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows him, but actually he's a really nice guy, so you guys should come and support him here a lot. This is a song about stupid old me. <laughs> on and on and on, she said. On and on and on, she said. on the album that we didn't have any Leos on the album and so I went and got one especially we shopped around we put an advert in the paper one did Leo for greatness and keyboards and John Williams <laughs> and at the same time there was actually another Leo who uh, couldn't read and he thought he'd said one did for greatness and guitar 
And so he showed up, so we give him a job anyway. Mr. John Dunry. Yeah. And uh, computers and backing vocals and weird Cancerian moods, Mr. Wade Wilkinson. <laughs> and last, but by no means the least, the fantastic, the ever charming, the quite sexual at times. <laughs> Likes a drink, 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 and likes a drink. Mr. Matt Peck. You know, I said today, I was doing a radio interview today for Radio Newcastle, and, uh, and I don't know what I got talking about. She asked me, like, about being not drinking anymore, and I said, there's two people on the planet. Uh, no, I said, if there's anybody, on the planet that shouldn't drink, it's me and Van Morrison. <laughs> and I'd like to change that to me, Van Morrison, and Mr. Mac Pegg.
Faster on the guitar. That's like the standard speed. Like, you can kind of the competition, you have to be in like. Yeah. 
on the sound desk tonight. I'm sure he's doing a good job out there. <laughs> if anybody would like to give him drugs, he would like that. Are you a Sagittarian, Chris? Sagittarians always take drugs. Is there any police in tonight? Chris has got drugs on him. <laughs> Christy Berg or something like that. Oh. Don't you think? Nasty. A couple of like constables like sitting around like discussing Christy Berg's lyrics. It's fucking terrifying. <laughs> Probably why they're so brutal. <laughs> you know what? The Taliban are sitting with Christy Berg CDs out there. <laughs> That's why they won't give up. <laughs> <laughs>
Three months ago, I became a grandfather, and my firstborn, Francine, was uh, is now like about 18, or she's 19 or something now. Um, I haven't seen her for a while and stuff like that, and then I get loads of phone calls from her when she wants money, and that's really all she uses me for. I'm like the bank of, you know, the fat, bold bank <laughs> of New York. And so whenever she, so she called me up a few weeks ago and she said like, uh, I, get, I was getting all these phone calls from her and I was thinking, what the fuck is going on here? Something's really weird. And then she dropped it on me that she needed five grand to put a, a deposit down on the house. So, I, so once I give her the five grand, I haven't heard from her since yet. <laughs> now they've got the house and all that, but like, you know, so that's kind of what happens when you get kids. Have you, have you guys got kids? And and that's and I've got a new uh, a, a two year old now called Ava who's uh, you know she's she's amazing and all that but uh, it's it's weird how your priorities change once you get children because I used to be like you know bothered about my abdominal muscles and my haircut and all that and now the the, the billion dollar question is um, who stole the tubby custard <laughs> from the Teletubbies. And, uh, and this is a song about Francine and her mother, who I'd like to hang up by the neck and beat with a goose still. <laughs> So I will 
kids is like when you're younger, you know, when you're like 18 and 19, you're kind of such a fucking asshole that you don't really get it, do you? 
You know what I mean? But like when you're 35 and you have a kid, it's like, oh my God, what is that thing? <laughs> and it blows your mind. And um, and uh, you can't really, you know, if anybody who's got kids will tell you, you can't really sing about one without singing about the other. This is about the other one. Yeah. Oh.
stuff that's going on right now in the Middle East, you guys, like one of the things in all seriousness is that they keep calling it a Taliban thing or a terrorist thing. And it isn't. It's a fucking human thing. We've been beating the shit out of each other for thousands of years. It's just another one of them. So it isn't like really um, worth discriminating against anyone or anything. It's like, we're all like that. <laughs> and if you give us enough money and oil, we'll do the same fucking thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? All you got to do is walk out here at about half past one in the morning on a Saturday night and you'll see the Taliban out there. <laughs> I mean, I'd rather run into the fucking Taliban than run into some of them. So it's, uh, you know, we try to like pin the blame on people all the time, I guess. You know, if it isn't, you know, the Muslims, you know, the, the blacks, you know, the Irish, it's always somebody else, you know what I mean? The Welsh. <laughs> the Welsh. I've been talking about the Welsh, actually. We've been talking about the Welsh. I'm, 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 a, I'm a surrogate Welsh nationalist right now. I'm learning Welsh as we speak, but he says I'll never get in the clique because I'm not really Welsh. I'm just a horrible bastard. <laughs> and he said, he said I can't um, ever play in, a, in his band because he's Welsh and they don't like the English. <laughs> so should we all beat the shit out of him? <laughs> Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, like, uh, the, the, you know, the Taliban and all that stuff. So it ain't really worth blaming anybody, even though we like to blame people. Let's just be honest and say it's a human thing. You know what I mean? It's a human thing. This is not anything else but a human thing. We're all like that. And a long time ago, in about the 12th century in Persia, there was this wonderful man called Jalaluddin Rumi. And he ended up being a poet. And he said that one of the greatest things that ever came out of his mouth, he was talking about the distinctions, you know, between people. And he said, I, we, you, she, in the garden of mystic lovers, these are not true distinctions. I, we, you, she, in the garden of mystic lovers, these are not true distinctions. Do you know what I mean, Dory? Can you say that? I, we, you, she, in the garden of mystic lovers, these are not true distinctions. Yeah. Oh. 
disco song I knocked up just before I got out of jail. Do for you, you feel careful down to the spine. 
nationalists, but we don't care when he plays like that. <laughs>
I just want to say a big thank you for being quiet tonight and being, uh, you know, being really cool. I really appreciate that. And uh, I'd like to also thank Mr. Tori Jackson, Mr. John Williams, Mr. Wayne Wilkinson, Mr. John Dunne, and Mr. Matt Peck, please. I'd like to thank Chris on the sound desk and Mr. Phil Beaumont.
Cause my laughing is only my pride Covering my darkest hour I was dreaming of my mind And now she left me on the roadside And I know you're not my mother But the woman still demands my time And so I live from day to day Trying to hide my pains away
Miss Tori Jackson. On behalf of myself, Miss Tori Jackson, Mr. John Williams, Mr. Wayne Wilkinson, Mr. John Dunry, and Mr. Matt Pegg, thank you all for coming to the concert. God bless you all. We'll see you soon. Good night. Thank you.
few months ago, um, me and Matt uh, went into America and we recorded. Uh, actually, it wasn't America, Matt, was it? Was it America? Where did we record uh, the live album? Oh, I was Whitehaven. That's right. Of course, right. And then. Um, and we recorded an album called Hometown 2001, yeah. and it's basically an acoustic version of a lot of the songs on Man and a few of the songs. And then um, we should have had it like two weeks ago, but because we're only a small record company, the manufacturers are just like, fuck off. <laughs> so we haven't got it. But you can get it. Um, it'll be here tomorrow, I believe. So if you guys want to um, put an order into Steve Rowe, wherever Steve is, um, he'll, he'll get, we'll get the CD out to you within like two days or something like that. Yo. And then it's, a, it's actually pretty cool. It sounds fantastic. It's a really good sound. And um, I, you know, I think you'll like it. And apart from that, I'd just like to say thank you very much again for all your support throughout the years. And I hope you've enjoyed the concert. And uh, you know, we'll see you next time. Thank you.
Jackson, Mr. John Williams, Mr. Wayne Wilkinson, Mr. John Dunnery, and Mr. Matt Peck. Please have a hear. Be happy, be happy, be happy.